This is global war. A war not only of men and of territory, but of materials, raw materials. And when we lost the Philippines, we lost both. We lost 25% of our supply of chromite. Without chromite, you can't make one pound of armor plate. Here, we lost 97% of the world's rubber supply and half of our supply of tin. We lost tungsten, iron, manganese, losses of strategic materials of war. That was the problem that crossed the Pacific, that hovered over the United States. In the largest office building in the world, the Pentagon, headquarters of the War Department. Here are over thousands of desks, maps, and drawing boards. Soldiers and civilians worked on the problem of directing and supplying our army. Have you any idea how big a job that is? A simple example, the equipping of a small task force. First, there must be thousands of foot soldiers, trained and ready. Of course, just one of those men needs two pairs of shoes, two uniforms. And that's only the beginning. He has also issued complete field equipment, helmet, rifle, gas mask, leggings, bayonet, ammunition belt, first aid kit, canteen, blanket roll, haversack. Of course, you multiply this equipment by thousands for all soldiers in the one small task force. But this is merely their personal equipment. There also must be field hospitals for the medical corps, tents, ambulances, and the many sorts of medical supplies, cots, nets, peaks for quick transportation. A detachment of the Corps of Engineers is necessary with their endless amounts of material. And the wings of modern warfare, both bombers and fighters, and tanks, the iron cavalry of modern war, artillery to support the infantry. And each company must have light and heavy machine gun units and anti-tank guns. 75s and the 105s, and the hard-hitting anti-aircraft, ammunition to supply all those weapons, storage tanks for that high-octane gas, supply trucks for ammunition and food, transportation by land, air, and sea. To sum it all up, it takes an initial shipment of seven tons of material to keep one soldier in the field, and that adds up. And remember, most of this material is expendable, quickly used up, needing immediate replacement. All this for only one small task force. But the whole world is at war. We must supply hundreds of task forces in Australia, Hawaii, Alaska, the Panama Canal, Iceland, Greenland, Africa, the Middle East. We must also help equip our British, Russian, and Chinese friends. 50 million fighting allies can't go wrong if they have the equipment. <laughs>